Have you ever heard of someone say, oh, that schedule, throw it up on the wall. Don't update it, leave it as an artifact, that's fine. Customer X said he wants to see that. Don't worry about updating the schedule. Those are true words from a past project. True story. Some project managers are as guilty as sin for not updating the schedule. Some project managers are guilty for not staying on top of the schedule and using it to drive the project. Why waste the energy in creating a schedule when you're not going to use it to drive your project? This is a massive, massive, massive tool that if used the right way could work wonders. It really could take your project from doom to happiness, from doom to success. Not using your schedule will do the opposite. It will just take your project from doom to gloom. That's why you want to use a schedule. But the schedule has no power if the PM doesn't use it. If the PM does use it, use it well, my goodness. You got to use your schedule, project manager. This is definitely a fixture on these professional project management exams, not just in the world of the PMI, but outside of the world of the PMI. Everyone knows the value of a schedule. You gotta have a schedule. Go to page 217 of this book, your favorite book. What does it say? It says, the project schedule is an output of a schedule model. Now, when you hit that word schedule model, a lot of you tune out, but you shouldn't tune out you should research what does the PMI mean by schedule model. Now, I'll give you the summary. The schedule model is all of that data, all of that relative information regarding the schedule and associated variables. And that schedule model can be displayed in a number of ways. It could be manipulated in a number of ways with IT software, such as in MS Project or Primavera and the like. But let's read to see what exactly this schedule model is defined as in the PMBOK guide. All right, follow me to the glossary. and we're going to page 722. It states, a representation of the plan for executing the project's activities, including durations, dependencies, and other planning information used to produce a project schedule, along with other scheduling artifacts. So when you hear the term schedule model, you need to be thinking about all of this information surrounding the schedule activities. And then it can be massaged and manipulated in different ways. You could show a representation of the schedule model as a Gantt chart, or it might just be a plain old schedule in tabular format, or you could choose to show it as a network diagram and so on. So it says, the project schedule is an output of a schedule model that presents linked activities with plan dates, durations, milestones, and resources. This is key. At a minimum, you see, at a minimum, the project schedule includes a planned start date and planned finish date for each 
activity. Do you see that? And we could go on reading on and on, but there's a big question. What's the difference between the project schedule and the schedule baseline? Here's the answer. One is the law laid down by management, stamped and approved. That's the schedule baseline. The other, the project schedule, is the living, breathing schedule that is going to be updated throughout the project with actuals. And this does not need any permission to update. If you've enjoyed this and it has made sense to you and unlocked some understanding for your PMP exam, you definitely want to check out our website, www.praiseon.com. Also go to www.pmsucceed.com. Live training online, pmsucceed.com. It's happening right now. Go there, check it out, sign up for our training. Let's see you there. If you want training and coaching for your teams on site in your firm, visit praiseon.com, go to the contact and let us know what exactly you're looking for. Various organizations worldwide have used our training solutions. The FBI, NASA, Department of Transport, Department of Commerce, the US Air Force, the US Army, the Army Corps of Engineers, and many, many more. So you're gonna be in great hands. Go there and let's hear from you. All the best and bye for now.